Nothing to see here, folks. Just keep walking. Hey, fellow knights. It's Logan. And Sariot. Welcome to a very special video from Nightlife Games. We just got back from the Georgia Renaissance Fair in Fairburn, Georgia. I've been going every year since Logan and I started dating, and he's been a ton of times before that. That's right, and we wanted to share with you guys what it's like to go to the fair and talk about some of our favorite things from this year and from every year. One of my favorite things about the fair is all the artistry that's involved in it, the, the craftsmen, the guilds that you can see, the different shops that you can go to. They have so many amazing things that you can buy there, and they're all handmade, and they take a lot of homages to other things. You know, as you can see here, there's lots of LARPing involved in some of the stores. When you're buying there, it may seem like it may be a little expensive, but you're supporting somebody. You're supporting someone's livelihood, so it's really neat, and it's, it makes you feel good, too, when you buy stuff from the fair. That's and a if, great point. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention just being able to go there and to see how they do everything. Getting to meet in person the people that actually make this stuff. I mean, that's pretty special. When you're buying from the shopkeeper, you're buying from the person that usually made what you're buying. Yeah, definitely. And it's really neat to see how they do it with all the live demonstrations. And you can ask them questions about where it's from and how they made it and everything. I mean, it's just really cool. Um, for instance, with the coinsmith, you know, they can tell you the history of the mint that they're using. Love that aspect of the fair. And that's just one small part of it. That's right. There's also another great part of the fair, and that's the shows. Oh, the shows are so much fun. My favorite every single year is definitely the Birds of Prey show. I love it. And the guy who does that show, he really loves what he does. I mean, he just has a passion for these birds. And it's the most educational show there, in my opinion. And it's just breathtaking, especially when he walks out the black condor and you see its 10-foot wingspan and you're like, wow. This is Storm! How you doing, yeah. little girl? Come on over here. Storm! was a part of the California Condor Recovery Program. He does such a good job. He really does, and it's a very enjoyable show. Today there are over 500 California Condors that have bred in captivity. And I really like the different kinds of birds that he brings out, and you get to see just a, a wide variety of different birds. We definitely don't even show all of the birds here. He has quite a few more. Of course, you know, it's so neat to see all the different variety of shows. You've got the clowns, you've got the acrobats, you've got the joust. Just so many different kinds of shows to see. We should talk about my sister's favorite show. It's also one of my favorite shows from this year. This was a new act. His name was Gypsy Jeff. He, his show was the Fire Circus. He's part of an organization called Clowns Without Borders. It's a really neat um, nonprofit organization. Oh. They go to different third world countries and places that have been affected by disaster and they just share a smile and make children laugh who, you know, who have been going through some really hard times. One of the coolest things he did was he actually had these spinning plates and he was going to give them to the kids one at a time, but the kids actually like started handing them off to each other. It was incredible. Even, it was. even the gypsy was surprised about it. Even like. the gypsy was surprised. <laughs> he was he was dumbfounded. He was like, we're going to add this into our show. Yeah. It was really funny. I'm trying to, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this one. Less likely to fall. Yeah! The wheel of death. Oh man, that guy made my stomach drop when he was running on the wheel with no restraints whatsoever. Yeah, he had no safety. That was incredible. I was shocked. Like, he really could have fallen at any time. In fact, there were several times when he just jumped off of it without even thinking. I know. And I was just like, what? I didn't know exactly what to expect coming to this show, but... Definitely, this went beyond anything I could have imagined. And not only did he do these amazing death-defying stunts, but also he was cracking jokes at the same time. I know, he really, he didn't even sound out of breath. No, he didn't. He was all over the place, too. I don't think you could, like, put me inside that wheel and even bring me up to the top. I mean, I would just be scared doing that, much less running across the top of it. Absolutely, and one of the amazing things about the Wheel of Death, and any of the rides, in fact, at all at the Renaissance Fair, none of them are electric powered. They're all manual. They're all pushed by people. They're all pulled by people, not electric at all. Well, I mean, you don't have electricity in the Renaissance. Of course, so it's really neat to see it. <laughs> so you've got all these rides going up and down. They look like carnival rides, but if you go and watch, it's just really burly guys 
grabbing them and pushing them. And you know, you in looking at the rides, you see all of the different mechanics that you would have read right out of Da Vinci's notebook. Yeah, it's pretty great. We cosplay every year that we go. We just can't go without dressing up. It's true. Even this year, when I didn't put a whole lot of effort into my costume, I had to have some sort of costume. I couldn't just go in street clothes. And it's so <laughs> fun to see all the detail that some people put into their costume. I know. People go crazy with their costumes. I mean, some people spend a lifetime working on one costume, and they go in that every year. There's also amazing new costumes every year. Like the guy standing out in front of the gate dressed as a treant. Oh man, that was so cool. I walked in and I was shocked. He was so tall. It was I didn't, incredible. I didn't even realize it was a person at first. I thought it was just a giant tree statue until I saw him start moving. He was awesome. And he had like these little crow puppets that he used to talk. Oh yeah, it was astounding. It was amazing how detailed it was. And you have people who dress like statues and gargoyles and they'll like sit really still until someone walks by. Yeah, the patrons. Yeah. The people who buy season tickets and then come every weekend just to cosplay. Yeah, just to walk around the park. And it's so much fun. Like last year when we went, even though we weren't like workers there, lots of people and kids and stuff wanted to take pictures with us in our costumes because we were dressed up and people are impressed with you and it's just kind of a cool feeling. Absolutely. So Logan, what's your absolute favorite part of the fair? I would have to say the food. Really? I love the food. Oh yeah, the food is so good. Oh, the steak on a steak. That is my favorite thing. Every year I want to get steak on a steak. It's a staple. We have to have it. And the fried Oreos there are like really good too. Oh yeah, everything's fried in on a stick and it's wonderful. <laughs> it is so good. And the root beer there is really good too. Yeah. it's. It's just root beer in a cup, but there's something magical about it. It really, yeah, there really is. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick trip to the Ren Fair and our thoughts on it. And you know what? You guys should totally check out the Georgia Renaissance Fair in Fairburn, Georgia, and go next year. You might even run into us. Absolutely. April through June. Yeah. So, be sure to mark your calendars. We'd love to see you there. Make sure you save up your money because you'll want to buy everything from you, the shops. You will want to have money when you go, absolutely. If you've ever been to a Ren Fair, share with us some of your fond memories. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to see more videos uploaded regularly, hit that subscribe button and join our growing army of knights. See you next time. Bye.